Hey guys, this is Tim, aka Chaos from Blue Ridge Broncos. Uh, just a little quick update on what we've done the last week or two. We've installed the Havoc off-road uh, cargo rack, which is super well built. Picked that up at the um, Bronco Stampede in Pigeon Forge. I also picked up the Rampage Trail View Soft Top uh, from Havoc Off-Road. We're gonna do an install video on this, so uh, hopefully not too many cars will come by. We can edit out some weird sounds. Stand by. Okay, before we begin the install of the Rampage Trail View Soft Top, a few tools we need to gather. T50 Torx bit, T30 Torx bit. Both of those can be found in your Bronco toolkit. Also, you'll need to grab some Allen wrenches. M2.5, M6, and M8. Also, a little bit of anti-seize compound, just for fun, and maybe some black RTV if you want to do some options. So, let's get into it. As recommended, the soft top pieces are laid out. Uh, it's best to do this when the temperatures are above 72 degrees, so I just simply took an inexpensive tarp and I've got them laying out on the concrete driveway to help with the pliability of the plastics as well as the sail cloth. Uh, first step in removal and starting this process is to take off the factory hardtop. Okay, obviously the first thing you gotta do is remove the factory hardtop. We've got the first three sections out and I'm gonna use my homemade top lift up there to assist in removal of the rear section. Okay, now we've got the top removed. The next step, going to be to install four 10 millimeter rib nuts. All the hardware, including the rib nuts, is included with the top. You will need to purchase a rivet nut tool. I have one here from Rough Country. This little guy right here. Basically leave the grips open, spin the rivet nut down to where the end of the fastener is flush, and then back it off about a full turn. And you're going to insert it into the first and third holes on the top. I'll show you. Okay, next step is to insert the rivet nuts. They're 10 millimeter and they are included with the kit with all the hardware, but you will need to purchase a rivet nut tool. What I found that works for me is using the 10 millimeter mandrel, tighten this where it's flush to the adjustment nut, put it down into the hole and crush it. I've already put the first rivet nut in. Let me show you the second one. First hole, closest to the windshield. Insert it. Bring it all the way to 90, open it, and then use the knob on the back to thread the mandrel out of the rivet nut. I'll give you a look at those rivet nuts in place. Okay, now you see the rivet nut installed in the first and third factory openings. It gives a nice flush place to thread something in and this will not interfere with the reinstallation of the hard top in the fall if you would like to change this out so we're going to repeat this process on the other side and then we'll move on to the installation of the brackets okay the next step in the installation process for a hard top is to remove the factory bracket this is where your rear section latches into place and your t50 i believe it is torch that's in your Bronco toolkit will work. I'm going to speed the process up with a Milwaukee battery powered ratchet and we will repeat this process on the other side. Okay, rivet nuts are installed, factory brackets are removed. We have this extrusion piece. If you notice, there's a curved plastic piece that goes towards the rear of the vehicle. And just kind of lay it down and somewhat line it up to the holes, but make sure you don't knock it off the truck. The next piece is your trail view bracket. If you notice, there's a hook. The hook should face to the front of the vehicle. And this little indentation, excuse me, this faces the rear of the vehicle. And the indentation faces the front and outside. And it goes on top of this extrusion piece. And this is where we use the 10 millimeter Allen head bolts that were supplied with the kit. And each one of them gets a flat washer and a lock washer. It takes a six millimeter Allen wrench to tighten these bolts. And again, I'm going to put just a little bit of anesthesia right here just to keep things nice for when we take it off this fall. Okay, if you can see in the picture, I don't have a whole lot of anti-seize on here. 
This is just so we want to take it off in the fall. Nothing seized up. And we're going to use the very first nut sir straight through the trail rider, the trail view bracket. And then you slide back. You have an uh, oblong hole here to line this extrusion piece and this hole up. And again, flat washer, then lock washer under the bolt head. And just get them started down in there. And then once you get the bolt started, you take your Allen wrench, tighten it down. Remember, this is not lug nuts. You don't need to put a hundred foot pounds of torque. Just get a nice and snug. Now, as you move from the front to the rear of the vehicle, there are a couple of more holes in the factory rivet nuts and a oblonged hole on the extrusion piece that you need to use the eight millimeter bolts. And I believe that takes a four millimeter Allen wrench. So we will again, put a little anti-seize on those with using the supplied flat washers and lock washers and get those going down into the threaded inserts before we torque everything down. So make sure you get all your fasteners lined up before you lay the final tightening to it. And so I hope you can see this is the first um, hole that we've used that is a factory hole. And notice we don't have that torqued all the way down quite yet. We just want to make sure that lock washer crushes underneath of that flat washer. Okay, passenger side extrusion piece and trail view bracket are installed on the passenger side. We'll repeat this for the driver's side and come back. Hey, the next thing we're going to be installing is this tub corner bracket. And I'd like to point out the bracketry is marked R and L. R is for the passenger side or right side of the hill. Just to clarify that. And again, we'll be using two M8 supplied bolts with some anti-seize on them. And that lines up perfectly with the factory holes. And just for clarification purposes, the lock washer goes on the bolt head first, then the flat washer, so you can crush that. I don't know if I said that earlier in the video, but I'm gonna go back and check and make sure I actually did mine the right way. So we'll put this bracket on, repeat it on the driver's side, and we'll be back. Y'all ever heard the saying, confession's good for the soul? All those bolts up there, you gotta take them back out because I put the lock washer underneath the flat washer and it's supposed to be the opposite way because how else can you see it crush? So I'll change those out and we'll get back to the install just in a couple of minutes. And the next piece to install is this rear tub rail bracket. If you notice, there's foam on the bottom of it. That's the side that goes to the body panel. You can flip it over the wider tab goes toward the front of the vehicle and it will line up with the factory hole there, there, and then one in our rear tub rail bracket. This one we use one of the two shorter M8 bolts and the longer M8 bolts will go in those two spots. So we'll bolt this down and repeat on the other side. Okay, so this is the opposite side of the vehicle. It's a little bright out here, but if you notice, how we've just barely crushed those lock washers. There's a good spot for you to see the split. Just slightly crushed them. Like I said earlier, no need in over torquing and breaking them, but get them nice and snug. So that is the, the two sections of the rear of the soft top hardware that's included. And you can see really nice lines on the body. Uh, curve is matching perfect. So let's get on the next couple of steps, see if we can get a top on this guy. Okay, moving right along. Our next step is to remove these three bolts that are factory on the hard top. Uh, just like that when you take the hard top off and you use your uh, lovely supplied Bronco tool kit for this little Torx bit and take those three bolts out and we're gonna place a supplied part from Rampage here to hook the side windows on. So we'll take these bolts out and show you the bracket here. Okay, there are the plastic pieces we're getting ready to install. Uh, if you notice the curve there, curve there. If you can't figure that one out. This one that goes on, not be time to consult uh, an install professional. All jokes aside, uh, this piece is gonna line up in the factory location, reusing the factory bolts. And again, don't over tighten. This is plastic. You notice there's a little bit of green inside those holes. It's some kind of antices that are on those bolts, so I don't think I'll put any more on. We'll just uh, 
leave it the way it is and get this panel lined up and repeat the process on the other side. All right, so there's the installed piece where the windows will pop into this channel. The rear plastic windows will go under here into this channel. So the next step we're gonna do is going to be put the trail view soft top hardware into the hard top so that we can come over here and drag it up on top of the Bronco and put everything in place. So we'll update you on that shortly. Okay, excuse the stained concrete and the mess on the carport, but if you notice, we've got the inside of the top facing up so we can install the trail view bracket assembly. And it's very simple. You have the little snap asters. This section will slide up underneath the front of the bow and snap into place. I'll show you just in a minute. Okay, that was really simple. And there's a little section right here that, you know, if I can do this hole, and you see the plastic right there, snaps into this channel to give this its nice bow. So there's eight little snaps across the front, and then these little sections here, we'll get to in a minute. That is for the trail view part of the hard top. We're gonna move a soft top. We're gonna move to the back. We've got a bow in the rear, a bow in the center, and a bow in the front. And by bows, I mean these pieces right here that give the support across the top. So the rear one is this one here that doesn't have the plastic edges on it. So we're gonna install that in the rear section of the top. And this may be a little bit difficult to see, but there is a slight bow to this piece. Uh, it bows up and you want to make the U go up. But there's a little flap on the end of the top here. We're gonna open that Velcro slot up and slide this rear support in. Okay, I hope that you can see, but one of them is just slightly shorter than the other. And the slightly shorter one goes in the front section of the trail here. The longer one goes in the rear, but again, maybe you can see the bow, they're just slightly bowed up on that end. So you always want the bow going up. When I say up, this angle. Okay, so there are the three interior bows installed. One in the rear, one in the midsection, and one towards the front. All right, so next we're gonna get this thing lifted up onto the top of the Bronco, and that's where the excitement begins with the trail view. Okay, uh, suppose it's possible for one person to drag it up, but another set of hands is most appreciated. So if you notice, there is a bowed bracket and a straight bracket. The straight bracket goes on the rear, and you remove this small shoulder bolt and locking nut, and basically, do that on both sides. We're gonna do that for the rear bracket first. Do not tighten this, just get it snug. Okay, so with the rear of the vehicle, and if you notice this tab, there's actually a strap. We separate the Velcro. This is your adjustable strap. And that's gonna hook underneath this section here. So it does have a cam buckle underneath that and some adjustments. So we put this in and just get it snug and repeat the process on the other side. Nice thing is this nice piece that is sewn onto the upper strap and it protects your cam buckle from rubbing on your, your uh, factory sport bar. All right, so here is the tinted quarter window kind of lying in place. And what we need to do is get up in the back of the Bronco and get these two zipper line, zippers lined up and get them zipped together and we'll move on. Okay, so now we've opened this entire rear flap. You see the zippers on either side. That's the zippers that are gonna be for the side windows. And, and these buckles are going to be for the rear window. But a nice note is underneath here, there is a piece that comes with this top where you can store your side glass in, your side plastic windows in a cover and then put it up under here and flip the Velcro top back down on it so you always have them with you. That is a fantastic idea. All right, so that one sit down. We'll repeat the process on the other side. Okay, I hope this camera angle is gonna work, but underneath either side of the top, of a little buckle and a strap on each of 
about the three quarter window. So we're gonna feed that through and just snug it up. We're not gonna tighten it down yet because we may need some adjustments. And we will repeat that on the other side. Down on the home stretch, you got the rear window kind of lying in place on the Velcro. There are three straps, three buckles. We're gonna put those in and not tighten them completely. All right, so starting on the side up here, you're gonna tuck the plastic piece into this channel and work yourself all the way around the tub. But do not put this piece in place. But repeat that process on the other side. Okay, so this is the rear section at the top. It's gonna to get oriented this way. But if you notice on the bottom of the rear window, there is a tubular shaped piece that's got to get oriented and routed through that channel, which is on the outside of the vehicle. So we're gonna take this piece off and slide it in place. Okay, so after getting that rear roof bow in, snap the corner pieces in place underneath the rear tub section. Pop this into place and bring your zippers down. Fold your Velcro over on both sides. Make sure you're good and snug and your zippers all the way down. When that's in place, go up top, snug those three bars, buckles in place, and bring the back cover section over, and you have a completely installed one. Okay, a couple things to note. There is a bar across here, you see this little uh, Velcro cube. They both need to be hooked around the trail view framework. And it's very simple to unsnap the Velcro and snap it around there. All right, so it's kind of difficult to hold the phone and do the Velcro, but you see this is now a round, this round piece of framework on both sides. And to re release the trail view top, you simply pull this lever down, push it up in there. Unlock position, and raise. Just like that, that quick you've got open top for your front driver and passenger seat. So one important part that I forgot to mention is how important this little strap is. It's on the driver's side, it goes in the rear bolt with the M8 hardware. And this snaps over this rail to keep your top back while you're driving down the highway. Don't forget that one. Voice of experience speaking. Okay, so there we go. Nice little slant at the back of the Bronco now. Really dark plastic windows. There's the trail view soft top by Rampage installed. You notice there's a couple of nice organizer pockets in both the driver and passenger side of the top. Uh, real nice little addition and actually looks like a sunglasses case or a phone holder already built in. So, uh, so far so good. Uh, I'll give you guys a uh, update after maybe say 500 miles about what we think about the quality of build and the noise compared to a hard job but i will say i like it so far this is sail cloth and when you fold the front section forward it folds in such a manner that the inside does not get dirty so looking forward to some miles of this uh rampage trail view soft top you guys stay tuned for more install videos from blue ridge broncos chaos out